exciting speed to do this on. Oh, and a great hit on after this. He took it, he's got that arm. Oh, oh, brilliant. Good finish for me. Yeah, it went well. Um, I mean, the fight obviously I do is at 70 kilos, uh, so it weren't a massive weight cut for me. Felt strong, felt good. Um, I mean, I've improved a lot since then. All my, my striking's improved a lot since then. Um, but yeah, to be fair, a couple of things. It was all because he was a bit, he was a southpaw, so he did catch me with the shot standing up, which obviously I weren't really planning on. But it's uh, it's obviously awkward when you you know if you've not got a lot of southpaws to train with. Um, but yeah, in general, happy with it. I mean, I'm walking around at sort of 71, 72, which is obviously the lights I've walked around at for quite a few years. Um, but I feel. I feel good, you know, when I'm grappling, I feel, I feel stronger than I ever have done uh, for a long, long time. I mean, he's lost by submission a couple of times. Um, he's a very sort of, he's, a, he's very aggressive. He's a very busy fighter, he throws a lot of shots. But he do, uh, it's, it's hard to say, obviously, watching him fight other people, but it doesn't seem that he's... He's not got that kind of one shot. And obviously the thing is to throw, to get into that position, to throw those shots to get a fight stopped, you have to get into that position in the first place. Um, I mean, obviously I'm not, I'm not a big fan of making predictions for fights, this, that, the other, but obviously to throw those shots, you've got to get into that position. I ain't going to let him get, he's not going to get on top of me. You know what I mean? It's, um, I mean, I've been I've been grappling 23 years. It's not, I think, for, for him to get either man or even even you know, in guard or whatever, half guard to throw that amount of shots, something's got seriously wrong from my point of view. You know what I mean? Um, and like I say, even if it, even if he does, he manages to get like five, ten shots off, or whatever. Like I say, he doesn't seem to be knocking people out or stopping people with big power shots. It seems to be you know peppering people, overwhelming people. I had a few sort of sponsors come forward. Um, obviously, uh, MMA Sports Nutrition, Dave Elton. I mean, they've given me quite a lot of supplements and things. Um, they're a new company. They're just specialising in sort of um, sports nutrition for fighters. Really, it's not not geared towards the bodybuilders like a lot of the nutrition, you know, like a lot of the supplements are. Mm -hmm. It's um, yeah, they've got some really good stuff coming out. So look out for them in the magazines and things. Um, I've got Hill Moran, uh, Sports and Prestige Cars. They've sponsored me now for each fight. Um, so again, financially, that's uh, that's helping a lot. Uh, same with Ian Wall Contracting. He's helping me out financially. Um, but MMA pundit, obviously Dan Shack said, uh, he's uh, obviously giving me you know good good media exposure and things like that. Uh, so yeah, it's all helps. It all helps. Just hope he brings his A game as usual. And um, obviously you're coming into my city, you think you're going to come into my city and beat me in front of my people? It ain't happening. You know what I mean? It's I don't care who you are. Do you know what I mean? I always turn up to fight, and you're going to have to stop me. You have to knock me out to stop me. And I don't think he's capable of doing that. No, no offense to Julian. I mean, he's a tough guy. Got nothing against him, but do you know it's going to be another win for me. Simple as that.